Hi guys! In this les lesson, I would like to teach you a fun grammar, but most of the people find it a bummer. The reason is, maybe it's not explained as much as it should be, it should have been. Okay, the grammar is called, in English, I think it's called accusative case, which is, what does it mean? It means, it's, uh, this grammar is about the objects, and the object we're talking about is a specific object. Uh, like in English, it would be the, the. It's not just a door, it's the door. Like, it's not a window, it's the window. So, this grammar, there was a cat fight here. I think it's over, sorry. <laughs> This grammar um, is made by suffixes, of course, suffixes in Turkish. And I underlined these suffixes. We have four. U, I, U, U. And they all mean the same thing, just variation, uh, vowel, vowel harmony thing. But in the end, they all mean the same thing in English, the. So you see, kapı, kapı. Door, kapıyı, the door, kapıyı. Uh, pencere, window, pencere, the window. Okul, school, okulu, the school. Göz, eye, gözü, the eye. So, uh, and also I should tell you something important. This accusative case in Turkish can be used only if there is a real verb in the sentence. Like uh, if there is if there is a noun affected by the verb. If there is no no verb, uh, active verb, I mean, in the in the uh, in the sentence, you don't need that case. Uh, like I cleaned the window. Uh, there's something is done. Something is done on the window. On the window, it is cleaned, right? I clean the window. So clean is an active verb, which is affecting the noun window. So the window. Okay, let's wrap it up. Kapı, kapıyı, pencere, pencereyi, pencereyi, kapıyı, okul, okulu, okulu. Göz, gözü, gözü, ev, evi, evi, sokak, sokağı, sokağı. By the way, did you know, you know, if a noun ends in a K, and after K, if a vowel comes, this K needs to change into soft G in Turkish. So nobody will say sokakı, okay? It will soften into soft G. Which will be sokağı, sokağı, the street. Çocuk, çocuk, çocuğu, the same thing, see? The K became soft G because of the vowel after it. Çocuğu, çocuğu, the child, child, the child, çocuğu. And... Let me repeat, this grammar in Turkish is only for the objects in the sentence, never for the subject, okay? Uh, otherwise, you will, be, um, you will be constructing a wrong structure. So remember, this accusative case in Turkish, ü, i, u, ü, after the, after the words, only for the noun, only if the word is a noun in the sentence, okay? Kapım. How about possessive? You know, uh, for possessive in English, you don't use the, like you don't say the my bag. You just say my bag. But in Turkish, this is still how it works. It's strange, but it's never strange in Turkish. It's just the way it is. But in, in English, it, it would be like this. The my bag. I brought the my bag. I... Uh, they they opened. Well, we wouldn't say my door, but it's just an example. How about how about school? 
um, they cleaned the our school. You just say you would just say they cleaned our school, but in Turkish it is still they cleaned the our school. So weird in English, perfect in Turkish. Accept it the way it is. Your Turkish will be great. So let's see if you um, if you studied already the possessive case like my your the endings for my your his our your theirs uh, you will recognize those endings like kapı door kapı my door so the accusative ending comes as you see after the possessive if you need to use it if you, you need to use possessive then accusative comes after the possessive that's the order kapı mı my door Penceresi, uh, his window. Penceresi ni? Okulumuz, okulumuzu. Gözlerin, gözlerini. Evimiz, evimizi. Sokağımız, sokağımızı. Çocuğunuz, çocuğunuzu. Let's wrap it up. Let me actually underline this. To, for you to see accusative case ending endings uh-huh oops where is it mm -hmm. okay okay kapımı kapımı penceresini penceresini okulumuzu okulumuzu gözlerini Gözlerini, evimizi, evimizi, sokağımızı, sokağımızı, çocuğunuzu, çocuğunuzu. Um, yeah, if you need to see the lesson in English too, in I mean written English, you can check the description box and keep studying, have fun at the same time. See you on the next lesson. Görüşürüz.